What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome back to my 100% playthrough for Final Fantasy 2. We are on part number nine right now, and in the uh, in the last one, we did end up getting the white mask because we've got to track down the uh, the ultimate home. So we well, we're pretty much like halfway there. You know, we, we've got one of the masks. Now we need to go get the uh, the black mask. Put them on the statue and the doppelganger, get the ultimate tome, and kill the, uh, kill the emperor, I guess. So, not a whole lot left. Like, I think in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of, like, game progress, we're probably now about, I'd say we're about half to two-thirds of the way through the game. So, there's not a whole lot left. Although I tell you what, what there is a lot left of is my lovely Patreons. Guys, I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for all of the support. It does mean so, so much to me and I really, really do appreciate it. Much love, guys, much love. And of course, if you wanna get your name on screen like all these beautiful little bastards right here, then go ahead and take a look at the Patreon link down below in the description. And you could even get special prizes like having characters named after you in, uh, in future games. For example, uh, FF3, which we'll have coming up, uh, honestly, probably probably in the next week or so at this point. Like, I really uh, I really don't think it's going to take us that much longer to get through uh, FF2, to be honest. Anyway, speaking of FF2, since we have to go to Mercidia right now, there are two ways you can uh, you can do this. You can obviously just walk all the way over there using the uh, the canoe. Or you can take the ship. Now, taking the ship does take a little bit longer in terms of, you know, like getting over there. But we're actually going to need the ship really, really soon anyway. So it's a good idea to, uh, you know, to just buy the bullet and take the ship route. Because as I say, we are going to need that pretty much right after we come in here. So. Here at Mercidia, we've obviously already been here once because uh, I bought a little bit of gear earlier on. However, now that we're here, you know, as part of the story, I think uh, I think I'll actually talk about it a little bit more in depth. So first things first, down here at the bottom left of Mercidia is the library, and if you don't know, uh, the library is a little interesting. So you see these uh, many old books on the shelves. You can actually ask these uh, books like any key term that you can learn in the game, and you'll basically get uh, you basically get some uh, some background story for them and things like that obviously not everything uh, gives you a little bit of background story but most do so if you want a little bit more lore then go ahead and interact with those books right so uh, let's actually do what we came here for though we're gonna go straight into the uh, the stairs right there because we've got to come and place the mask on this statue and for this one, we need the white mask, which is all the way at the very bottom, isn't it? There we go, white mask. Come on, Fira, place it on. I don't know why, but that white mask looks pretty cool, I think. It definitely looks pretty cool, man. You place the white mask on the statue, hell yeah, hell yeah. Also, because I know I'm going to get asked this sooner or later, no, you cannot place the black mask on the statue. And no, you cannot place the white mask on the doppelganger. Literally impossible. Okay, it is it is literally impossible to do that. So now that we've uh, now that we've got that out of the way, let's go and actually get the uh, the black mask, shall we? So for this, we're gonna have to go all the way down to that lone little island on its own. So let's go do that. In fact, you know what? I honestly probably could have done that before I went to Mercedia to put the mask on uh, the statue. Probably could have done. Oh, little too far there. Uh, okay, so a little to the right. This is one of those really, really annoying things where you have to just like trial and error constantly looking at the map until you can find this tiny tiny little island but we got there in the end so let's go now straight off the bat i'm gonna say screw this place okay it is it is annoying as hell it is a giant maze obviously we've already opened that chest for the uh, the first time we came in here so not going to uh, 
Not going to do anything with that. Also, uh, I know in the last video I did buy like a whole bunch of status immunity, uh, status immunity, status cleansing items. If you have not done that yet, leave this place and go buy them. Trust me, like this dungeon and the next dungeon, you're gonna want a lot of them. And when I say a lot, I do mean like just stupid amounts. It's like enemies around here are pretty damn evil when it comes to uh, to start ailments, especially the petrification. And it's all well and good, you know, having somebody with um, with Isuna, but if you only have one character with a high level Isuna, what happens if that person gets petrified? You know, like you, you're flat out of luck if that happens, aren't you? So. Definitely either level a sooner on multiple characters because of course like it doesn't need to cleanse an ability to level up You can just go into a battle and start spamming it if you want to or bring a boatload of items now because uh, because I'm still using Layla with the uh, the Masamune I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna matter too much because things well I mean not even just with her with the Masamune to be honest like, things should still die pretty quick, regardless of that. Anyway, now here on floor two, there are four treasure chests here. We're only going to get one of them first, though, which is going to be this one here, because we're actually going to go down these, uh, these stairs right next to us. Because at the very end of this pathway, it is going to be a... Uh, a dead end, but there is going to be some treasure chests that we can get on the way. And that is exactly what we're going for. Plus, at the very, very end, there is going to be uh, a nice little shop as well, which uh, we can buy some uh, some weapons from. Now, these weapons that we can buy from here, they're not better than the uh, the equipment you can buy in Mercidia or anything like that. Literally, the only reason we're going here is for the simple fact of like, you know, it's unique items, basically. So, where is he? There he is. So, we can get the Demon Axe, the Demon Spear, the Ruby Curess, and the Gaia Drum. So, I'm gonna buy one of each, just because, you know. I'm not gonna equip them, though, because, honestly, like, I know it's saying that, uh, you know, they would be, they would be better for me. Uh, but that's just because I'm still using weak equipment, remember? So, yeah, they're, they're not better. You can get better equipment than that from, uh, from Mercidia. Mercidia is more expensive, though. So, if you uh, if you can't really afford the Mercidia equipment, then you can just go ahead and, um, and buy that equipment, basically. But if you can afford the Mercidia, then definitely, uh, definitely get that instead. Alright, so now that we've done that, though, we can actually uh, basically just go all the way back now. Because now we can get the... Uh, the rest of the treasure chests from the other floor that I mentioned earlier, and we can actually uh, start progressing through this place. Now, one of the things I also want to mention is, in this dungeon, there are a lot of these vine areas, which can make things a little difficult to see. So, do, do keep that in mind, that unfortunately, they are going to be all over this place. And, oh my god, Merc is actually about to cap out his health. He is literally about to cap his health. Oh, man. That's kind of good, but also really, really bad for later. Because there's an enemy later that deals more damage the higher your health. So, basically, capping Merc's health now pretty much means that if I ever come up against uh, that enemy later... Well... There is no if, like, I will I will absolutely come up against that enemy a couple of times later. But it means Merc is pretty much going to get one shot by it, so he's probably going to try and stab me in my sleep. I'm, I'm sorry, Merc, I, I didn't mean to, buddy. I, I didn't mean to allow you to get one shot in the future, okay? I will, I will give you an advance apology, so please don't murder me. Alright, so with, uh, with my begging for Merc not to kill me... Let's go ahead and start blitzing through this place, shall we? Luckily enough, it's not, like, that bad when it comes to, you know, like, moving through the place. Um, if I remember correctly, I don't think there's any um, invisible pathways. Is there a, if there is, I'll, like, remember when I get to the area. Like, I, I know that for a fact. Because that's just what this game does. Whoops, I just completely smacked the mic when I went to... 
to scratch my head. Oopsie. Alright, now, this floor right here, little annoying because of, uh, like, just how big it is. And there's a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? There's a lot of stairways, basically. Like, a lot of stairways. And as you might have, uh, you know, as you might have guessed, unfortunately, we only actually want um, one of them. Actually, wait, no, we do need multiple of them. Never mind, ignore me. So, we're going to go down this one first, because this one actually leads to uh, a dead end with a treasure chest. Then, we'll be going down a another one, which leads to another dead end with more treasure chests. Alright, so there's that one. Uh, I'm just trying to think now, which... It's like, I know there's, there's two at the bottom here, and I'm trying to think which one I need next. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. I know I don't need the top one. Uh, no, actually, I need them both, don't I? I'm, I'm an idiot. I need them both. Yeah, I, I need them both. God damn it. Okay, let, let's go. Let's go do that. All right. Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. It's the one. Wait, no, hang on, that's... Nope, that's the wrong one. We want to go further down from there. See see what I mean? It's like, it's this floor. It's so big and open that it's so easy to just, like, miss where you are, you know? Alright, there we go. That is that is the one I wanted. Oh, the monster in a box, forgot about that. At least it's only some revenants, some shadows, and some wraiths. Like, they're really not a big issue at... Uh... At this point, you know, just because of, like, how far we are through. Oh, and Merc's health is, uh, is capped now. Good for you, Merc. You're going to get one shot later. Oh, he's he's going to kill me. He's he's definitely, definitely going to kill me, I'm afraid. Oh, well. What can we do? What can we do, I guess? All right, so we're going to go up now and go along this path because it is going to lead to another dead end with... Uh, with some more treasure chests, and then it's just a case of going back to that big open space to uh, to continue on through. Uh, through, to continue on through, 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 through. I got there in the end, guys. Words are hard, okay. And then we will be going to uh, back to Mercidia because we'll have to do the Mercidia cave. Oh my God, another monster in the box. Yeah, that's one thing that. Uh, is going to start happening like more and more often now. We are going to start getting a lot more monsters in boxes. It's like as you get further and further through the game, they start becoming more and more prevalent. In fact, I think in the final dungeon, there's I want to say like at least half of the treasure chests are monster in boxes. I think it's about half anyway. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but there's definitely a hell of a lot in there for sure. Like, an overwhelming amount. In fact, you know what? I'm going to sort my items because I don't like them being messy like that. All right, so now that we're back onto uh, the big annoying open floor, we're now going to go all the way up to the top right to uh, actually move on and get done with this place because we need to get the uh, the crystal rod, which will allow us to get the black mask, which will allow us to open up Mercidia Tower, which will allow us to get the ultimate home. Alright, so there is a sleep tome right there. And then we've got some uh, some poisonous looking water that is actually not poisoned. And we just need to uh, come around here to the uh, to the left for another room. Which is actually going to be the uh, the last room for this dungeon. And lo and behold, it god mask. Wait, it god mask? Shouldn't this be the crystal rod? I could have swore this was the rod. Hmm. Oh, maybe, maybe I get the rod next dungeon. Maybe that's the one from the, uh... Uh, oh, what you call it? The Mycidia Cave. Yeah, it must be. It must be the one from Mycidia Cave that, it's, uh, is the rod. Oh, well, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Oh, that's just made of those big horns. With a strength increase. Just, just what I like. I like having my healer with tons of strength. Yeah, so it is the, uh, the black mask from there. That's alright, it's not that big of a deal. You know, it's not that big of a deal at all. I was just wrong about one item, unfortunately. 
Alright, now that we have that though, we can safely leave this dungeon by just stepping on the teleporter. Okay, so now that we have that, it is time to go to the Cave of Mercedia right after I heal. So the Cave of Mercedia is going to be, uh, well, if you actually look on the uh, the map, it's just sort of next to Mercedia, like just uh, down to the uh, the south a little. The only problem is you have to go like all around the reeking to get to it. So guess what? Uh, guess what we're going to do right now? Also, I know I gave the uh, the warning in the dungeon do uh, just about status items. Now is the time where you are going to need stupid amounts of them, okay? Literally every enemy in this place will inflict some kind of status ailment. Because look who we're, look who we're fighting here, Marlboros. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna save. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna save. Better to be safe than sorry when it comes to uh, to Marlboros. Oh, I just hit the mic again. It's it's too close. Like as soon as I get an itch on my face, like I just keep smacking it. <laughs> oh man, I'm so sorry if it comes across like really really loud. I will I will try and fix it in uh, in editing if it does. Right, so cave, cave, cave. Is it to the left? No, it's down. All right, come on, cave. No more Marlboros, please. Oh, okay, just some, just some black flags. That's that's all right. That is perfectly a okay. And voila, the cave of Mercedia. So the cave of Mercedia isn't really, you know, like that bad of. Uh, of an area and there are some uh, there are some treasure chests for us to get as well we do however need to uh, to use that lovely black mask in a moment oh, Marlboros. the only problem is I can't remember where the doppelganger is uh, this should just be a monster room I think yeah it's a monster room I knew it god damn it I knew it man I knew it I knew it I totally to the colder dude I totally to the colder Alright, so that is the monster room. Monster room just below it as well. So I'm not going to go in there. Ooh, cockatrices. If I come up against like eight or nine cockatrices, I am so screwed. Like screwed is screwed is going to be an understatement if I come up against uh, so many of them. The Marlboros can also be pretty damn evil. It doesn't help that parasites also steal um, MP. So I've got to be kind of careful with, uh, with healing. Like, I could go through pretty much this whole dungeon just spamming uh, teleport, but I would really rather not, to be honest, because it would be uh, a little bit more dangerous. There's the doppelganger. The doppelganger is motionless. The purity of Primal's heart is stifling the defiled heart of the creature. All right, so now we're just going to chuck on the uh, the black mask from it, which will uh, remove it. Where's the black mask? There it is, black mask. You place the black mask on the doppelganger. Hell yeah, I do. Hell yeah, I do. The mask and the creature vanish. Of course, of course they do. All right, so now we can actually uh, progress further through the uh, through the dungeon. And this now is where we're actually going to get uh, a whole bunch of doorways on this floor. In fact, I say this floor, it's pretty much this dungeon in a nutshell. There are so many doors that all just lead to uh, to empty monster rooms. So definitely uh, be a little careful, you know, especially with all the uh, the status effects that this place just loves to inflict. So we're going to go up there for the, uh, the power staff in the chest. Then we're going to come down here and you see that little chest there. There's actually an invisible wall here to the right, which I'm about to go through after this battle. Uh, where is it? There we go. And that's how you get the flame lands. Right, now, pretty much every door on this floor is, uh, is a trap, unfortunately. There's there's nothing through them. So, in order, to, uh, in order to actually progress, we have to go all the way down to this very bottom left door. There are, I think, like four or five doors in this floor, and they all just lead to trap rooms. So, now that we advance once more, we're actually on, uh, 
a somewhat simple floor, like when you uh, when you really think about it, to be honest. For this one though, we're actually gonna go around and then down because there's gonna be uh, there's gonna be an item down here for us. Now there is a door on this floor as well, down to the uh, down to the far left. But that door just leads to a uh, a trap room. Oh wait, no, I need that floor for the. God damn it. I should have gone uh, the other way. I should have gone the other way. Don't worry, like, there's nothing missed or anything like that from what I'm saying now. It's just a case of there's a treasure up here with an invisible wall right there. Ice bow, okay. And now we actually need to go back down those stairs because the way to the other door is actually also down there. So, yeah, I... Uh, might have messed up on my directions a little bit there. It's it's not the end of the world, it just means I, you know, did a few battles extra than I needed to. Took a few steps more, and uh, that door right there is the the bad trap door. So we're just going to uh, completely ignore that. And now it is into this door, which is actually the, uh, the last one, I think. No, it's not the last one. There's still... Uh, Couple more. Now, this floor right here, this one's actually uh, a little interesting to be honest. So, there are still trap doors on this floor, you know, because of course there are. There, there has to be trap floors. Uh, trap floors? Trap doors. Which is those three right there. However, one of them is actually not a trap. One of them does actually lead to, uh, to treasure, which is the middle one. The one on the left and the one to the uh, the right just lead to uh, trapdoors. Ooh, we've got petrified. See, this is why you needed to buy uh, status items. There we go. All right, let's get the free treasure chest. The phoenix down, the bell of silence, and the gold needle. And now we can uh, progress on to the next floor, which is down in the uh, the bottom right. Okay, so. I think this one is nearly the uh, nearly the last one now. I think I'm fairly sure it is. I'm fairly sure. Ooh, five ghosts. That's not good. That's really not good. Okay, we we managed to kill them. But yeah, you see what I mean. Like enemies, enemies now start getting pretty evil. To be honest, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of status effects coming our way soon. Like death, paralyzed, poison, stone. It's like, this is where things are going to get quite brutal now. Also, fun little side fact, aside from that uh, that treasure we just picked up with the monster in the box, there are actually five more treasures on this, uh, on this floor, and the way to get them is actually an invisible pathway right here, because they're all in this one little section. So, we do get the mini tome. We get a potion because potions are amazing this late in the game. Then we get an Aether and two high potions. I really don't get why they're still sticking potions though this late, to be honest. Like it doesn't it doesn't really make any sense when you think about it. It's like why why on earth would we need a potion this late? Our health is gonna be so far past the amount of potion can restore. It's not even funny. Oh well, either way, we're done with the dungeon now, pretty much. Like, this should be the uh, the final room where we can get the crystal rod. Yep, final room. So we get the Drain Tome, the Osmos Tome. Osmos is actually uh, pretty good as well once you level that up. It pretty much guarantees you, like, super MP. And we have the crystal rod. Right, so now that we have that, we can... Uh, Actually, just go ahead and leave this place now. So, let's go ahead and use Teleport. I'll just use that on Therion. It doesn't really... Uh, doesn't really make much of a difference, to be honest. Right. Okay. One of the things that I am going to say now is... Coming up, we're about to get... Uh, what is essentially trapped, really? So if the if the cave of Mercidia just like completely ruined your item stock, you know, like ethers, status items, potions, Phoenix Downs, excuse me, like anything like that, go back to Mercidia right now. Just walk around and heal up because we're unfortunately. Uh, 
going to get trapped pretty soon in Leviathan. Because now we need to... Uh, we need to go to the Mesidian Tower, which is at the north of Mesidia. So Mesidia Tower is, you see that uh, that little alcove, the little yellow square, like uh, to the left of Altair? That's basically where we're going. In fact, can I like move? Yeah, so there's uh, Mesidia Tower. That's where we've got to go. The only problem is like as soon as we get to, I think it's here, uh, we end up getting eaten by Leviathan, basically. So, yeah, do do keep that in mind and uh, fully heal up if you need to. So, I'm going to use a card there just to fully heal, and I'm also actually going to save, just for a little bit of safety. Also, fair warning, uh, Layla leaves the party in Leviathan, and when I say leaves the party, I mean she leaves permanently. So, she will, she will not be back or anything like that. Make sure you do all your leveling with her now. Um, equip her with all the gear you need to and things like that because once she goes she is gone for good and just like being gone for good i'm afraid to say that this video is going to be gone for good now until tomorrow because i'm going to be ending this one right here and i know that was terrible terrible segue Oh my god. But yes, guys, I do hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, then please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. As always, though, everybody, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.